It's morning becomes eclectic at 89.9 KCRW. A couple of weeks ago, Arctic Monkeys were in Los Angeles for a show, and we got them into the Village Studios for a session. We've got a conversation with Alex and Matt from the band coming up. But first up, the music, Arctic Monkeys. Return to Morning Becomes Eclectic. down and sell the rope. Let's 
So can I be some blessings with your effortlessness for grateful and so shaped and comforted? And I wonder, are you putting us under? Cause we can't take our eyes off the t-shirts and ties combination. We'll see you later, innovator. Someone to kiss, someone to kick you That's not a naked foot and slip through Or at least that's the impression I get Cause you're smooth and you're wet And she's not aware yet, but she's yours She'll be saying, use me Show me the jacuzzi I imagine that it's there on a plate Or I run the parade Means that you'll never be frightened To make them wait for a while I doubt it's your style Not to get what you set out to acquire The eyes are on fire You are the unforecasted soul Come collected and commanding You leave the other stuff standing With your renditions and jokes Bet there's hundreds of blokes That have wept cos you've stolen them Thunder! Are you putting us under? Cos we can't take our eyes off the t-shirts And tight combination We'll see you later, innovator
Till she was inside, forcing a smile and waving goodbye. Curiosity becomes a heavy load, too heavy to hold, too heavy to hold. Curiosity becomes a heavy load, too heavy to hold. Will force you to be cold. Flattering yourself And to tear apart the ties that bind Perhaps might be too kind Perhaps might be too kind Niceness, landed in a very common crisis. Everything's in order in a black hole. Nothing seems as pretty as the past, though. That bloody Mary's like an Ernst Tabasco. Remember when you used to be a rascal? Oh, the boys are slang. The best you ever had, the best you ever had is just a memory. And those dreams were as daft as they seem, as daft as they seem, my love, when you dream them all. Flicking through a little book of sex tips Remember when the boys were all electric And now when she told she's gonna get it I'm guessing that she'd rather just forget it Clinging to not getting sentimental Said she wasn't going but she went still Bad she got some not to be gentle Was it a mechadobber or a betting pencil? Oh, the boys are slag The best you ever had The best you ever had Is just a memory And those dreams Weren't as daft as they seem as daft as they seem, my love, when you dream them up, oh, oh, blow. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh. 
It's Morning Becomes Eclectic at KCRW. I'm Nick Harcourt, your host for the show. Arctic Monkeys recorded recently over at the Village Studios. We've got Alex and Matt in conversation. Welcome back to the show, guys. Hello. Hi, Good to hello, be back. Thank you. You know, this is the, the second album, obviously, and back in the States this time around. Um, I'm wondering, you know, the, the first album got so much attention, obviously, in the UK, and you've been asked this a million times, but uh, did, did that sort of not quite follow through on the first album here in the States? And if that's true... Are you still having a good time over here? Absolutely. Um, we've always had a wonderful time when we've when we've come over. Every, yeah, like every time it's sort of. It's, um, but I, yeah, I don't think the the album sort of reached like the same like kind of um, level that it did at, at home and that. But I think that was always going to be the case, really. Like, but yeah, I think it'd be it'd freak you out a bit if it did. I would imagine it would have done. We're talking about the first album, Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not, which is, uh, as you know, obviously, and probably a lot of our listeners, became the fastest-selling debut album in, in British history. And, and I would imagine that there were probably a whole bunch of expectations on you for the States that you're probably happy didn't actually come to, to fruition. Tell us about that. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose you're right there, Nick. Yeah, I mean, I mean of course, you'd, you're never going to be... You're never going to say, like, oh, you know, we don't care about, like... American um, success. You know, success, thank you. But like, it's it's it sort of done. It never felt like a failure, if you know what I mean. It was just like kind of comfortable, like we're just getting the like, opportunity to come and like play and and like see these different places is like that's Good enough. enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's enough for these lads. That's enough. Like, humble you know, yeah. as they are. Yeah, but not over the top. Like. <laughs> When you uh, when you decided to to come back into the studio and and do a second album, how how did that come about? Where did you record it? Uh, what amount of time did you did you uh, give yourselves to do that? Because you'd been on the road pretty relentlessly for a while on the first album, right? Yeah, yeah, we did um, pretty much tour that album for a long time. But then while we were touring, we were writing songs and stuff, and we had a lot of ideas for the new stuff. So we we had no choice but to record. I'd say. As soon as we'd finished touring, we just like pretty much went straight back in the studio. Did you try any of the new songs out while you were touring, or were they just sort of snippets that you had started writing and uh, then you went into the studio to finish them? Yeah, well, I mean, we had a few like full songs ready, but I don't, I don't think we wanted to play them until we, like, I don't know, until we'd lived with them for a bit, I suppose. So we just like practiced them in sound checks and stuff. But we did, we still did quite a bit more writing while we were recording, which we didn't do last time. So it was a more of, of a, a blank canvas, more of a yeah, more of a traditional approach, I'd say as well. Now, the the first record was recorded where? First one was in Lincolnshire. Okay. Yes, in the country. In like a bit, like a middle of nowhere kind of studio. And then this new album was recorded in the middle of East London. In the LDN. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Big. Did, um, in the <laughs> smoke. city city scope. Yeah. <laughs> so we, got, we that's what one thing we wanted to do, Nick. You know, different. Um, approach perhaps on each record whether it's location or personnel yeah. now L ldn is is, is uh, london obviously yeah, yeah sometimes a brief also known as the smoke for people who come from up north yeah yeah the big smoke that's what they used said. to call it when i was a kid um what, what did that bring to the record i mean you're in the middle of east london which is you know that's a little bit different from the bucolic countryside of lincolnshire maybe it, it didn't have like an obvious effect i don't think well, maybe it did. I mean, we're that because we were more. Um, I don't know. We could like socialize more, I suppose, when we weren't recording, rather than just 
don't know, being in the middle of nowhere and having not much to do. So I suppose when we were there, that all we'd think about is recording and stuff. But sometimes you do need to switch off and have a bit of a party. You you also changed bass players as well, didn't you, before you went into the studio? Or was it around the same time? No, no, quite a while before. Like yeah, when you were on tour first time in the States, I think? Uh, one, yeah, like probably like third time we came was when Nick came with us. Right. Um, like last May. So it's like over a year now. These things, um, there's no denying that something like that would change it. But yeah, it's all, it's all been good. Now back in the in the in the UK, I know that you've been doing some some big shows um, this year. Tell us about some of the uh, some of the festivals and the shows that you've done this year. There was uh, there was the Glastonbury Festival early on in uh, June, which was one that we played, um, which were like massive, like we, like it's like a it were really like a big deal to us. Like we'd never been to Glastonbury before. Um, it like you know to as a as a festival goer we'd not been on anything before but like we'd heard always about it and it was like sort of we, we were very nervous like about that one because it's it's like it seems it's like a it seems like the biggest thing that we could have done you know what i mean um but like really had a good weekend there enjoyed that and i think there were a few like sound problems or whatever after but like you can't like that taint your memory can you especially when you're uh, out on stage in the middle of a field with a couple of hundred thousand people exactly <laughs> yeah, just really good and we did his own like um thing in this cricket ground in manchester like um old about trafford. a month ago yeah yep. old trafford c cricket ground we just did like a thing there this this one weekend and we sort of got bands on that we really liked and stuff and it was like that would probably like one of the best gigs we've ever done like you know we had like the coral on um it was like a big like one of, like our favorite band um and we had like amy winehouse played and supergrass supergrass played and we got this band from japan like a beatles tribute band from japan that we'd really? seen when we were in tokyo once and um yeah called the parrots who were like unbelievable they opened it up and it was just a really good day like the sun came out and the mums came out oh it was great <laughs> Now th this was over two days, was that right, or just one day? Yeah, Saturday, S Sunday. Saturday two and days, Sunday, yeah. uh, hundred thousand yeah. people over those couple of days, I believe. And Brooks. then, and then now you're back in uh, in the states playing to uh, two or three thousand people and sort of building it up again, right? I, yeah, but I, I don't know. I couldn't yeah, imagine do ever doing something like that over here. Really, it's just you see, it seems like just a different. Um, it's just like a different thing. Like you know, I, I, I don't think. We'd, you could do we could do something like that over here but it's um but like we you know it's, we've enjoyed this tour like really have like i mean we played in like this we, almost like we should have played a couple of like the ones we've done we should have done like smaller rooms really um like some of the ones like in like the midwest or whatever like we, we did one down in new orleans though which were really good like we'd never been there before and like i reckon that was like one of the best ones like, that we've done while we were we were in America this time, and it was only like about a thousand people. Not even, maybe not even that. Like, but it was like a really, you know, like it just everyone was sort of up for it, and that like a good crowd. So what's uh, what's the rest of the year hold now? Touring obviously here, and then what's uh, what's up next for Arctic Monkeys? I don't know. We're pretty pretty much touring till December, and then I suppose it's down to us to decide. We haven't really got any plans yet. Might just happen same as it did last year, or I might. Move abroad for a year. <laughs> Do you know where you want to go? Go missing. Oh, no, go missing. No. Yeah. Just go missing. Yeah. Go missing. And then evaporate. The myth. Yes. I am a myth. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, guys. It's great to have you on the show again. It's been a been a while. Congratulations yeah. on the new record. It's called Favorite. No, thanks for having us, Nick. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Favorite worst nightmare is the album, and we're going to throw it back to uh, Arctic Monkeys. This is our second set here on Morning Becomes Eclectic. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.
kind of by nostalgia Who wants to sleep in a city that never wakes up She was enraged by the way That the emperors were trapped in the cage And the days she deemed dull Leading to nights reading beer bottles You're such a fugitive But you don't know where you're running from You can't kill us And you couldn't trick anyone Who did love you Don't know what you're trying to escape from You want to sleep in a city That never wakes up Blinded by nostalgia You want to sleep in a city That never wakes up
There's a circle of witches Ambitiously vicious they are And our attempts to remind them Of reason won't get us that far And I don't know what it is that they want I don't know what it is that they want But I haven't got it to give She hasn't got it to give Disappointment in evening entertainment But tonight there'll be some love Tonight there'll be a rookie share Regardless of what's gone before I want to see all of the things that we've already seen The Larry girls are out the window of the limousine And cause it's fancy dress And they're all looking quite full on it Funny ears and devil holes and, and she won't be surprised And she won't be shocked When she's pressed the star After she's pressed unlock And this Chapter sign her in box And all that it says is that you drank a lot And you should bear that in mind tonight Yeah, you should bear that in mind tonight Bear that and you can pour your heart out But a reason it will block Oh, you send her after nine o'clock
and now for the next door's garden before the hour is done. It's more a question of feeling than it is a question of fun. The confidence is the balaclava, I'm sure you'll baffle them good. But the engine reek of salty cheeks and ruddy makeup alone, or will blood run, run down the face of a bottle with a little stone. But you find yourself in a skirmish where you wish you'd never been born. And you tie yourself to the tracks, and there isn't no going back. And it's wrong, 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 but we'll do it anyway, so you'll have a bit of trouble. From a burning building, or throwing out to the shark. Only hope that the ending is as special as the start. The confidence is the pile of cards, I'm sure you're baffling straight. And it's wrong, 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 and she can hardly wait. That's right, he won't let her out his signs. Now the shaggers perform, and the daggers are drawn. Who's the crooks in this crime? That's right, he won't let her out. Sides. Now the shaggers perform and the daggers are drawn. Who's the crooks in this crime? I'm assuming, but you heard that they were the naughtiest. She pleaded with you to take it off, but you resisted and thought, Sorry, sweetheart, I'd much rather keep on this battle. I suppose that's the price you pay Well, oh, it isn't what it was She's thinking he looks different today And now there's nothing left to guess now She paid. Well, oh, it isn't what it was. She's thinking he looks different today. And now there's nothing left to guess now. Well, quick, let's leave before the lights come on. Cause then you don't have to see. Cause then you don't have to see what you've done. Well, quick, let's leave. Cause then you don't have to see Cause then you don't have to see what you